and welcome to another episode of How You Can Do It Too. In this episode, I'm going to be converting my generator over to an alternator. Uh, I got an alternator kit and uh, I pulled the motor out because I had a little bit of an oil leak. Um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't coming from the oil cooler. Uh, um, so I bought some new seals, so I figured I'd do that. And to be honest with you, it only took me like right at 15 minutes to pull the motor. And what I'm hoping is I can just, you know, remove a few things here, like the fuel pump or the fuel line I got uh, strapped on here, uh, the generator strap, the two bolts on both sides, and I'm hoping I should be able to just to pull it straight on up and, and out of the way. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work or not, but. Uh, I'm going to attempt it and I'm going to walk you through it uh, step by step as I do it. All right, well, uh, I'll be right. Okay, right off the bat, first thing I noticed is uh, pulling it straight up, is, it's going to hit my um, carburetor. And I believe, you know, because the alternator is bigger, that's going to give me a problem, anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take, remove the carburetor uh, first thing, get that out of the way. And, uh, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got the carburetor off uh, and also took the hose that went to the air breather um, off. Got the fuel line pulled to the side. Uh, another little tip that I did just before, before I started removing everything, I took out my camera and I just took a bunch of pictures, you know, just randomly around, all the way around it the wiring real good and um, uh, you know like I said just went all over the place and then that way you always have a reference you can go back if uh, uh, you forgot something I'm also making little notes because like uh, my um, uh, automatic choke wire I don't know if you can see it let me get in the camera but you know it has like a skint place and I don't know if it will or not, but it might short, you know, against the fan housing because, you know, this goes right up against the fan housing. So I just do little notes like that. Um, you can take, I can go ahead and tape it now and I don't have to worry, but I'm probably going to just replace it. But just do your little notes, you know, as you go um, so you don't get lost. Okay, so I guess the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the generator belt. Um, pulley and um, like I said cut this fuel line and we'll just go from there or not cut the fuel line but the, the little uh, uh, fastening device I got over here all right well I'll be right back okay I just wanted to show you um, how to remove the pulley for uh, uh, those of you that don't know how uh, the, You'll find a little slot. Let me see if I can get in on here. Little slot right here. You want to stick a screwdriver in there, and and you'll find where it catches a little notch, and then you want to hold on to that while you uh, take the bolt off, so the pulley don't keep spinning around on you. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But just okay. Again, I got my screwdriver wedged in the slot, and it stops. And on this uh, pulley bolt's uh, 19. I don't know if yours will be the same. And another thing, you're going to have, you should have extra shims on the front. Uh, I don't know if you can see them from there, but I'll show you. Be very careful that you don't lose those. And there should, uh, there'll be some in between these two pulleys because that's your uh, how you put the shims in to tighten it and uh, loosen the belt. For you, those that don't know how. See, I already got that kind of loose. That should come right off. Let me see. And again. Get off. See, there's here's the shims. Don't lose them. And then there should be some shims in between here. Let me set these aside. So I don't do like I'm telling you and lose them. Take that off. See? And I have shims in here, little spacer shims in here. And that will tighten and, you know, 
loosen as you take more out, put more in, whatever you need to do. So make sure you do not lose those. I'm going to get these and put these aside. And I will be using a different belt because I uh, am going to an alternator. So I'm going to set this aside, but don't get rid of it. All right. Get the shim set aside. All right, now the next step I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the generator strap, totally loose, um, get that slid away from your uh, base mount that your uh, generator sits on. I don't know what it's called. I guess the generator stand, uh, because that will also be getting replaced. Uh, um, and I'll show you the kit when I get everything show you how to get all this apart but again I'm going to take this loosen this way up slide it over so it's off of the stand, uh, stand. Um, and I'll show you that when I get it loose I'll be right back okay I loosened uh, the generator strap back pretty far and like I said this is the stand here and the uh, generator rests on that stand and all I'm doing is I'm going to pull it off to the side make sure it's clear and it's clear to stand. All right, so now the next thing I'm gonna to need to do on here is I'm gonna, uh, of course, take the coil wire off, um, take the two screws out of here, and then um, I'll get that and show you the next step. Oh, let me show you one other thing. Right back here, I don't know if you can see it, but where you're throttle cable goes through see that little thing right there right down there that's where your throttle cable goes because you're gonna have to have that you know removed this again if you're doing it with the motor out but see uh, let me back up where's it at okay see I got a little hose clamp on here uh, holding together so I'm gonna take that hose clamp off so I can pull the throttle cable um, uh, tube. I don't know again what it's called because when I try to pull up the fan as you can tell it's going to hit here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and uh, the coil wire, fuel line, and then see these two. It's got a screw here. This is on the left side or depending on which side. Yeah that'd be the left side. And there's one down here. Now this one looks like it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get to, but I believe I can get a screwdriver in there sideways. And I'm going to totally remove that. Totally remove this one. Actually, you only have to loosen them up, looks like, because it's a slotted. And it should lift right on out. But let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, I got the two screws on the side um, loosened up. And it should, should come straight out. We'll see. Be very, very careful of your uh, your oil cooler. You can see, it just came right on out. Set that aside. And there you have it. It's got the oil cooler all exposed. See in. And I believe that's the ticket. And um, I'll be right back. Okay, there you have it. I'm um, sitting on the bench. And it does look like I have a little bit of an oil leak. I don't know. We can't really see it. Let me see if I can turn on the light. So I might just... Uh, while I have it out, go ahead and put in a new oil cooler in it. I don't know, I'm gonna just check it out some more. But uh, I'll probably make a part two of doing, uh, putting the alternator in. And I'll post a link uh, on this video. And I hope so far uh, this has helped you and, and I'll work on getting a, a part two for you. Might even be a part three or four, I don't know. We'll take it as I go. All right, have a good day.